what is up folks everyone say hi to tofu over here <laughs> and uh, we're going to uh, talk about some of the things we didn't get to talk about in the stream uh, that happened day before yesterday i not sure when this video is going to be uploaded anyway <laughs> just scared tofu <laughs> anyway so the news items that i wanted to share are these Pakistan professor apologizes for teaching the theory of evolution. The other day when I uh, made that video on Pakistani textbooks, I got a lot of flack uh, from a lot of people saying that I was spreading some kind of propaganda. But when you get news items like these, it's very I don't know. I mean, it's not an isolated news item on one website or anything. The same same exact news item is also there in this on free press journal on the express tribune yeah let's read the times of india thing by the way this is the same board so apparently khyber pakhtunkhwa is a state is a province in pakistan and apparently it's the education board from that state uh, whose uh, textbooks that i read in that video um and it's in that same region that this professor had to apologize for teaching evolution the incident has raised concerns about academic freedom and intellectual discourse yeah by all the professor in pakistan has issued an apology uh, for teaching charles darwin's theory of evolution raising concern, concerns about growing extremism freedom of expression free exchange and scientific ideas in pakistan the controversy surrounding professor ali began shair ali is the professor who got uh, who had to apologize began when he organized a seminar on women's rights in Islam and the constitution which was a response to local protests against women who were not adhering to Islamic values religious circles and clerics strongly opposed yeah prior to this professor shair ali had also expressed frustration at being targeted has ignited concerns about the restriction of intellectual discourse and the curtailment of academic freedom in the khyber pakhtunkhwa region uh that is the same province whose educational boards textbooks i read in the last video the same incident that's reported over here also yep he has been made to say women intellectually inferior to men chad man there's another article on the same thing it might look like pakistan is backward in this but you know what india is not far behind let's listen to this news article on to our bite of the day the junior minister for hrd satyapal singh claiming that charles darwin's theory of evolution is scientifically wrong and needs to be changed in school and college curriculum <coughs> his reasoning and this part is an absolute gem no one actually saw apes turning into men absolute gem in aaj tak kisi bhi vyakti ne lakani mein na mokik na likh ke bataya ki wo jangal mein kahi gaya tha kisi sher mein gaya tha usne kisi bandar ko aaj bhi bante hue dekha ho ye kahi par nahi dekha gaya darwin ne is prakar ki jo thori di hai wo vyaknik roop se bhi galat hai aur isliye school aur college ke andar isko badal kar nahi hua hai jab se dharti par aadmi aaya hai shuru se hi aadmi hai aur aaj nahi rahega so this is something that has been in the news for quite a while now this is something i want to cover on the channel also it's the saddest straw man of evolution the uh, creationists have been saying this for such a long time uh, the intellectual discourse of the day already knows exactly what's wrong with this sort of statement but no this case apparently only getting to this argument now and this is a really sad straw man of evolution nobody ever claims apes today transform like a pokemon evolution into humans no that doesn't happen but who is this satyapal singh in case people don't know satyapal singh is the minister of state for hrd higher education can you imagine the education minister saying something like that trust me the moves Uh, of the NCERT to remove certain topics from the NCERT textbooks may seem very rational or whatever for people who claim that may seem logical to help remove the burden of students or to help uh, uh, not repeat the same topics again in higher classes but trust me it is a move to bring such ideas into the textbooks 
I can guarantee you because I have seen more than enough. When I see red flags, I just know and I'm seeing red flags right now. Let me know if you are too, but yeah, India is heading down that same path. In other news, we have Maman Sadhguru. He has had a conversation with Stephen Pick and said something really stupid. Let's read this. Science should not conclude that what we do not know does not exist. When the hell has science ever said that? That's your own imagination, your own understanding of what science does. No one has, no scientist has ever said what we do not know does not exist. Um, that's a sad misrepresentation of science and the scientific method. And I'm sure Steven Pinker would have probably corrected him here. I've not read this article yet, but uh, this is something that only happened recently. The video is not out yet. I've not seen the video at least, but as soon as it's out, you can expect me to critically review that video. But speaking of which, let's come back to Steven Pinker. He has written a book on rationality. I recently read the, the audiobook version of that too. And to him, if Sadhguru says this sort of really lame and stupid statement, yeah, uh, he'll get his, for lack of better phrase, he'll get his ass handed to him. That's what Steven Pinker, Steven Pinker will do. Uh, let's see what the article says. Renowned spiritual guru Sadhguru and psychologist Steven Pinker recently discussed consciousness and its unexplored territories at a conference on conscience, science, social impact at Massachusetts. Sadhguru emphasized that uh, consciousness is a fundamental force that drives us and goes beyond human intellect while Pinker argued that consciousness is a product of the brain and external factors. Let's read more of what happened in that conversation. Spiritual Guru Sadhguru and renowned experimental psychologist and author Stephen Pinker shared the stage recently at Harvard Medical School's Sanders Theatre in Cambridge, Massachusetts to discuss consciousness and its unexplored theories. It was the key session on day one. I think this is the conference that I tweeted about. If Steven Pinker was actually attending, that would have been greater promotion. But I don't think I saw Steven Pinker's face in the poster. Let's see. I want to see uh, Steven Pinker's reply over here. Pinker initiated the discourse by asserting that consciousness is not a miracle, but rather brain and external factors. Yep. Let's see more. Steven Pinker, I have every reason to believe that he's an extremely rational human being. Mm. Classic evasion tactic, classic shifting of goalpost. Miracle is not uh, an attempt to deceive. No, it's not a miracle. It's an obvious consequence of biology. This is an equivocation fallacy. I should play my game right now, but uh, yeah. This is uh, changing the meaning of the word miracle. I want to see Steven Pinker's reply to this. I want to see his reply to this statement, man. Why is it all Sadhguru said? What did Steven Pinker reply? Oh man, I guess I'll have to wait for the video. But yeah, this is what happened in the conference. Okay, we'll wait for the video. But apart from that, that is all I had for you today. I'll see you in the next one.